Hi everyone and welcome back. Today let's discuss about cash rounding in Odoo 40. Cash rounding is required when the lowest physical denomination of currency or smallest coin is higher than the minimum unit of account. Uh, for example, some countries require their companies to round up or down the total amount of an invoice to the nearest 5 cents when the payment is made in cash. So let's go directly to our Odoo database and see how we can configure uh, cash rounding, create cash rounding and set it on our customer invoice. So when you enter accounting, in configuration settings, you have to enable rounding. That is a uh, rounding, you can see when you search for rounding. So here you can see cash rounding. So just enable this option in order to define smallest coinage of the currency used to pay by cash. And from here itself, we can directly configure uh, cash roundings for our uh, database or uh, that is for a company or, else, uh, or after enabling this under configuration, you can find an option that is rounding. So here you can find the rounding. So before that, here we have an option to select the rounding method. Uh, how tax, uh, total tax amount is computed in orders and invoices. So uh, normally this uh, first option, uh, this first option is uh, advised to use. So what is a round per line? Round per line is used when the price is tax included. If it adjusts the sum of the line of subtotals equating the total with taxes. And the second option that is uh, round globally, it is used when the tax is included, but it adjusts on the total amount. Uh, so I'm choosing this option round per line. And after that, you can save this uh, settings. So I have already uh, set these things in the settings. Now let's go to configuration. Here you can find cash roundings or either you can directly uh, go from settings. So let's click create button to create a new cash rounding. Here, let's give a name for the rounding. Rounding point one zero. And here you can see rounding position. Uh, that is to represent non-zero value, uh, smallest coinage. And here you can see by default point zero one. I'm giving it as point one zero. So it is a numerical value describing the number of digits expressing the particular value both left and right of the decimal. So it affects the computed value. So this rounding position is a very important part uh, field of this cash rounding. Then rounding strategy. That is to specify which way we will be used to round the invoice amount to the rounding position. So there are two options. One is uh, adding a round line. That is add a rounding in a new line in the order line. Then uh, that is invoice line. Then here we have modify tax amount. Uh, so the, uh, it, the add the rounding to the highest amount of tax without adding a rounding line. And when you choose this adding a round, add a round line option, uh, then you can see uh, two accounts that is profit account and loss account. So here we can set a profit and loss account. Then we have an option a field that is rounding method. That is a float rounding operations. Here we have three options, up, down, half up. Up means round to higher infinity depending on, uh, depending on a rounding position. Then down means uh, round to lowest affinity depending uh, on rounding position. Then we have half up. It means if the fraction part is equal, greater than or equal to uh, 0.5, then round to higher that is higher infinity or else uh, that is if it is less than uh, 0.5 then round to lower affinity. Okay, I'm just selecting modify tax amount. And you can see here a message that is the point of sale only supports the option 
add a round line rounding strategy that is we have we, okay, we have seen add round line so this is supported in point of sale only okay i'm just saving this cash rounding so after saving uh, that is we have saved the cash rounding now let's create a customer invoice and see how we can apply cash rounding to invoice okay if you come back you can see rounding position 0.10 and rounding method is up and we have chosen the strategy as modify tax amount mm, so let's create a customer invoice okay before adding details in the inside the form let's come under other information tab here you can find a field that is cash rounding to find a cash rounding method under accounting section so from here we can select the rounding okay and you can also change the uh, rounding method settings when you go to excel link okay now let's add the information inside the customer invoice i've chosen the customer and here let's add the product I'm choosing cabinet with toes and here we have a price that is 14 and you can see taxes gst 5 percentage and here you can see the taxes so while uh, we have uh, chosen the option that is rounding strategy as modified tax amount so it adds a rounding to the highest amount of tax and we have set the uh, rounding method as up so according to that you can see the change in total that is the, the rounding will be done in the total by adjusting that is by uh, adding rounding to the tax suppose i am modifying this here you can see 14 0.35, 0 0.35, 0 0.35, and when I'm uh, modifying the tax price, suppose I'm adding right. According to that, adjustment is done in the tax. Uh, that is a rounding adjustment is done in the tax, and according to that, you can see change. Rounding is done in total. So this is how. Uh, modified tax amount is used in as a rounding strategy that is rounding line strategy in cash rounding and here if you change rounding strategies add a round line here we have to set the profit account And we can change the rounding method as up, down, or half up. I'm saving this. And here we can set the cash rounding method as same method we have chosen. Now, here you can see a change is made in the order line, that is invoice line. Here you can see a new line, that is a rounding line is added to the invoice line and you can see the price 0 0.08 the rounding is it is added suppose i'm changing this uh, 0 0.5 14.50 to 0 here you can see the change and if i change the rounding uh, method to down according to that you can see the reflection uh, here you can see this as it is down it is rounded to lowest affinity uh, but if, if uh, when it was up it was rounded to higher infinity and if you change the rounding method from here to half up then you can see a change in the invoice line so as we have chosen the option uh, that is uh, the rounding method as half up in that case if it is greater than uh, if it is equal to greater than 0 0.05 then it will be uh, rounded to higher 
and if it is less than 0 0.05 it will be rounded to lower affinity so you can see uh, here 14.20 uh, let me remove this gas and show it exactly okay uh, so here i'm suppose i'm giving 14.22 so you can, here you can see it is rounded to a uh, lower affinity. This is because, and you can see it is 14.20 because 0 0.02, which is less than uh, 0.05. So it is uh, rounded to lower affinity. Uh, suppose I'm changing it to uh, 0.26 and you can see it is rounded to higher affinity. So the total will be 14.30. So this is how HAPOP works. So as we have chosen the option uh, that is uh, the rounding method as half up, in that case, if it is greater than, uh, if it is equal to greater than 0 0.05, then it will be uh, rounded to higher. And if it is less than 0 0.05, it will be rounded to lower affinity. So you can see uh, here 14.20. Uh, let me remove this gas and show it exactly. Okay. Uh, so here I'm suppose I'm giving 14.22. So you can, here you can see it is rounded to a lower affinity. This is because, and you can see it is 14.20 because 0 0.02, which is less than uh, 0 0.05. So it is uh, rounded to lower affinity. Uh, suppose I'm changing it to uh, 0.26 and you can see it is rounded to higher infinity. So the total will be 14.30. So this is how half of works. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any order implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to odo at cyprocess.com. Thank you.